Hello, we are Group 4, and welcome to our product examination project, where we will be analyzing a Neutroninja 72 ounce uh, professional blender. The blender we'll be analyzing in the picture on the left was provided to us by one of our teammates. On the right, you can see a schematic of a traditional blender. As you can see, there are many parts that go into this assembly. Uh, we will be focusing on just a few. So the first part we're going to dive into is a printed circuit board. We believe wave soldering was used for the majority of the components because of the exposed leads protruding out of the board, and manual soldering was used for the other components added after the wave soldering. Another method of soldering is reflow soldering. However, the exposed wicks make it more suitable for wave soldering. This top plate was made from injection molding. We can tell because of the injection pins located on the outer ring. This piece also has threaded holes for the screws to connect the part to the motor. The gear and the gear housing unit were also made from injection molding because of the injection pins located inside the unit. The steel rings that hold the gears together with the housing unit were also most likely cut from a sheet and had a hole punched through for the motor and screw. The steel ring could also have been made from a roll and then cut but most likely not since the ring would have been more coarse the outer motor magnet is manufactured through diffusion welding. We can see this through the many parallel lines displayed on the surface of the magnet. The lines indicate that the sheets of metal were layered on top of each other and then joined afterwards. The copper wire surrounding the outer motor magnet is manufactured through extrusion. We can observe this by the uniform shape and cross-sectional area of the wire. The motor mounts were most likely manufactured through stamping. The most obvious sign of metal stamping is the uniform thickness it has throughout the hole mounts. The holes on the motor mounts were most likely created through metal punching. Evidence of this is observed through the roughness on the edges of the holes. Here are additional angles of the motor mount assembly. On the side wall of the bracket, we can see that it is angled and that there are machining marks. These two observations further indicate that the part was manufactured through metal stamping. Alternatively, the motor mounts could be made by injection molding. They have the draft angle for it. However, they do not have the parting lines or flash to indicate it. And that just about wraps up our presentation on the Ninja 72 ounce professional blender. There are many more components to this blender, but these were the ones that we felt were worthwhile mentioning. Hopefully this was educational.